people, this is my Chelsea vs Stoke City preview, this is the last game of 2017 for us, so let's end it on a high. So what I'm gonna give, what I'm gonna do for you is I'm gonna give you my predicted lineup, or what I'd like to see, shall I say? And I'll give you a visual, and then I'll give you my score prediction, and maybe some insight into what happened on Boxing Day, and maybe past fixtures between the two. So, for my predicted lineup, or my personal lineup, or what I'd like to see. I've gone over 3 4 3 simply because Stoke in the last two games I've played a 4 2 3 1 and those two cancel each other out because playing a 4 2 3 1 you're essentially playing it's if you you're playing that formation relies on inside forwards just like ours and if we use that formation against Stoke City then, then we'll put pressure on their wide players so yeah but in terms of the personnel I've gone with Thibaut Courtois on goal, no question there. I've gone with a back three of Rudiger as the left centre back, Cahill as the sweeper, because I'm not sure if Christensen will be back in time because he was ill. He fell ill on Boxing Day, so he wasn't able to, he wasn't eligible against Brighton. So Cahill was the sweeper. And then Cesar Aspilicueta as the right centre back. For me, the midfield four, including the two wing backs, I've gone with, starting with the wing backs by the way, I've gone with Marcus Alonso as the left wing back and Zappa Costa as the right wing back, simply because Moses, he needs to rest, and I think that we're definitely going to need him against Arsenal, simply because Kalasnak is a beast in terms of his strength and his technical ability, and Moses has actually played against Kalasnak before, and he dealt with him pretty well, so... Zappa, he's, he's going to need the rest, So Zappa, and Zappa Costa is good at crossing, he needs game time to improve, because he hasn't had much game time, so, yeah. Central midfield pairing of Kante and Bakayoko, simply because Stoke have tall players, we're going to need, we're going to need our best. We're going to need to put two, two defensively minded players, I guess, in there, even though I don't think that Bakayoko should be played there. I think that I think that um yeah <laughs> I don't I think that Fabregas should be on the bench for this game simply because if simply because we might we might end up needing to kill the game in the second half. I hope that makes sense. And then the front three I've gone with Eden Hazard on the left. Simply because he has a he has a decent record against Stoke City. I've also gone with Alvar Morata up top because he scored a hat trick against Stoke City back in September and for me Ashpilicueta and Morata have a very brilliant partnership and if he gets if if Ashpilicueta gets three more assists for Alvaro Morata then I think I think that's a record I think that's a record of assists I I need to check that so don't quote me on that one but um and on the right of that on the right of that front three I've gone with Pedro I love William don't I love Willian, don't get me wrong, but I think that this is Pedro's game. He has a very good record against Stoke City as well. And if I remember correctly, he scored our second goal in the 30th minute against Stoke City in September. First first time, first time volley, brilliant goal. If you haven't seen it, go and watch it. But that's my predicted lineup. Let me know what you think of that down below. I'm not sure I'm not sure if Stoke City are gonna play a 4 2 3 1. They might just go for a 3 4 3 again. But hopefully they don't because if they do then we'll most likely go 352. But that's for tomorrow. That's for tomorrow. Hope we'll just have to observe tomorrow. So yeah. My the visual will pop up right now. So on to my score prediction. Stoke, 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 Stoke are a team of ups and downs. They haven't been on the best of form recently. If I, if I, if I'm correct, I don't. I think they've only won one of their last five or six. Again, don't quote me on that. But for me, I think that Chelsea are due a massive win because they've been brilliant in the last few weeks. But some of the scores just haven't 
haven't haven't haven't shown that they've been brilliant. It's a prime example being Everton away. We drew nil nil, but we were by far the better team. And I think that we're going to win four one. I think that we will concede because maybe Conte will bring on some substitutions to give the youngsters a run out. But hopefully, hopefully we get a clean sheet. Hopefully we get a clean sheet. That would be nice. So yeah, there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And come on, you blues, and see you tomorrow.